guys, my name is Miss Lane and I teach kindergarten and today I'm going to be reading you a story called Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. Where the Wild Things Are. Where the Wild Things Are. Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Hmm. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceilings hung with vines and the walls became the world around him. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him the king of wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. 
But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. So one of my, um, one of the parts I really love about this book is um, when Max actually decides he wants to go back home. Because I think that might have been a really hard decision, but I feel like he was missing his mom. And I know I would miss my mom if I was away for a long time. And then when Max got home and his food was still hot, I couldn't believe it. That was so cool. One part I didn't like was how Max left the wild things. I felt like the wild things might have been really sad that Max left them. And so with that, um, I, I didn't think that that was, that was very, very kind for, or very nice for the wild things. I didn't think that they liked that very much. But I understand that Max needed to go back home. So what was what were some things that you liked or maybe didn't like about the book? Did you enjoy the novel effect app background uh, noise and music? I really love that app, app. And again, it's called Novel Effect. If you read to your kids at night, it is so fun to add that app to your book. They have so many books that you can choose from. And I guarantee you, if you have some books at home, they at least have one of them in that app. So thank you for joining us today. And I miss you guys so, so, so much. I don't know what to do with myself because I'm used to seeing you guys all the time. I miss your hugs. And just so you all know, you know, you are loved and you are missed. And I can't wait until I see you guys again. Thanks so much. Bye.